with the hand, enough already with the hand. There's my babies. Haven't seen you since this morning. What's that? Yes, I know I'm supposed to wait till later for round two, but what the hell? It's five o'clock somewhere. Give me some water, will ya? Some water, please. It's over there next to the stove. Come on, come on. This pill ain't gonna swallow itself. Thank you. Good thing I only have to <laughs> pound down three of those pills a day. Have a seat. Or not. Suit yourself. Apparently you're my guest. I just wanted you to be comfortable. You got a name? Haba Espanol? I, I say, I say, I do declare, where are my manners? Can you get a little lady a cold drink? Maybe a sarsaparilla? Oh, that's, that's better. Thought I was going to have to pull, pull out my Jimmy Cagney impression. Never mind. Ronnie. What's that? My name, my name is Ronnie. Glad to meet you, Ronnie. I wasn't going to steal anything, really. Not much to steal. I'm not a burglar or anything. At least not a very good one. My dad's Dominic. Dominic? Seems like he may have mentioned you once or twice. I haven't seen Dominic in a long time. Well, six years, 123 days to be exact. Six years, 123 days? Yeah, since I had my last drink with Dominic at the VFW. It was a gin and tonic. Dad likes his beer. Daddy he does. What happened? Nah, nothing dramatic. I just woke up with a hangover to beat all hangovers and decided I had enough. A couple of AA meetings and here I am, six years, 123 days later. You're not friends with that anymore? Hey, you don't have anything in common. You kind of drift apart, I guess. 
So what brings you here? I'm sure you didn't break in here to arrange a reunion. I already told you. I wasn't planning on stealing stuff. Yeah, I got that already. My dad told me to come here. Huh? Well, not exactly. He said something once about a year ago when I first moved back in with him, saying that since you live just down the street from the school and that you were cool that I could come straight here if I got into any trouble. Just to hide out till things cool down. Your dad should have thought that out a little better. I got problems of my own. I noticed. So who are those guys? What do they want from you? Who? Don't play dumb. Those aren't Girl Scouts out there selling cookies. Not exactly. Well, what are they following you for? I don't know. Not good enough. If I'm going to be your rescuer, I at least want to know why. They just think I'm trying to rat them out, that's all. Rat them out about what? Nothing. I guess that'll have to do. Look, no one's going to be scared off if you just walk out there holding the bat like an old lady. Hey, I got a few good swings left in me. I appreciate you being a hero and all, but just let it go. They'll leave soon enough. It's almost 4.20. 4.20? You know, 4.20. Time to get high. Is that what this is about? Sort of. Come on. Out with it. You can talk to Dr. Darrell. Well, I tried it with him at first when I started school, but, you know, just smoking weed. But then they tried to have me sell it for them, like I was going to be their go-to guy for the younger high schoolers. And you didn't want any part of it. Smart girl. Yeah, but by then it was already too late. It's never too late. You didn't call me the Bakersfield bomber for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, just let it go before you hurt yourself. Hey, you may be right. Well, it's a good thing I shoot with the right hand, huh? No! No guns! Are you crazy? Hey, hey, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I used to have a little handgun. Sweet little 45. But I had to sell it. Needed the money. See? I told you. They already left. Yeah, that's because the Bakersfield bomber was on deck. No, because... Mr. Zerwinski, open the door. I'm from the Sheriff's Department. Shit, Shit now, now what? what? Your name is Zerwinski? Hush, it's Polish. It's a very revered name with a very proud culture. Really? And how do you spell that? Three Ks, four Zs, and a Y? Zerwinski. Come on, Mr. C. Don't make this any more difficult than it has to be. He's not going away, you know. I know, I know. Let me think. Mr. Zerwinski! I paid the rent. I went down this morning. Come on now, Mr. C. You know that that's not true. I just got off the phone with your landlord. It's time to go. You've been notified. This is bullshit. Call it what you want, Mr. C, but today's the day. We have a place lined up for you. Again, I say this is bullshit. You can, you can call the shelter and have them give that bed to someone who needs it. I'm not coming. All right, have it your way. We'll be back in half an hour with a warrant. Have your stuff packed? I don't want things to get ugly. Too late. Have you looked in the mirror lately? <laughs> Half an hour. Hey, what are you laughing at? I'm in trouble here. Just my luck. Finally find a decent hideout and the owner's about to get the boot. I mean, didn't you pay your rent? I mean, didn't you get an eviction notice? Like, didn't you know? You mean these? Sure I knew. This is the money for the rent. This is the money for the electric bill. This is the phone bill, the gas bill. What is it? Your hand? All the shaking and waving. It's Parkinson's. Parkinson's? Yeah, my, my brain doesn't create enough dopamine like it used to or the way everybody else's does. Affects my motor skills. Nobody knows what causes it, it just is. No cure? No cure. Just lots of medicine for the symptoms. 
So that's what's with all the pills. And the money. First I thought I could handle it, the stiffness, the depression, the embarrassment. But the money for drugs and treatment. Uh, first I just bounced a few checks and then I just kind of gave up trying to keep up. Food and medicine and or rent. Wasn't really a tough choice, but like everything else, it catches up with you. I think my friends are back. That's it. All right, you sons of bitches, you got my attention. She's out of the game now. I'm up to bed. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah run punks. That was awesome. Yeah, it felt pretty good too. Though I don't think my trash can will be the same. But they won't be back. I'm sorry for getting you involved in all this. That's okay, I'll have the cops keep an eye on those guys. As you can see from my visitor earlier, I have friends in high places. You ever been there? Ever been too scared to go to school or just walk down the street? Do you ever get beat up? Hey, it's okay. They're gone. They're never really gone. Hey, look. Uh, I, I, I don't live in your world. I mean, I got into fights as a kid, but uh, it's different now. Growing up now is harder than it's ever been, but you're not alone. You don't have to take it. There are people out there that can help you. Or if you just want to come by here, or you can hang out and get a little batting practice in. Thanks. Mr. Sawinski, are you okay? Say something. Gosh, what do I do? Mr. C! Time to go, sir. We have not yet begun to fight. Huh? Give me liberty or give me death. What? We shall fight in the fields. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight in the streets. We shall never surrender. Yet! Yeah, take that! We're not gonna let the man keep us down. You can take away our lives, but you will never take away our freedom. Sometimes it seems so hard to cope A world in turmoil and lack of hope See no limits, get up on my feet Shake my fist into the air No one give up, no one give up No matter what they say or do No one give up, no one give up on